We have uh, Pastor Hayward, Christopher Hayward. Does anyone know Marilyn Hickey? Marilyn Hickey. My man, Roy Hicks. Frederick K. Price. Uh, Pat Robertson of the 700 Club. John D. Dawson. Are you with me? Uh, Jack Hayward. Let me see another big name here. It's amazing how many. Oral Roberts. Everybody knows Oral Roberts. Once again, in this Bible, the Spiritual Bible, the name Yahweh appears over 300 times. Amen. Uh, those are just a few of the big names. A lot of pastors here, but anyway, I want to read from you Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. Saints, uh, we have built more than a ministry. We have built a movement. Amen. Amen. Not, everyone, not everyone can handle a movement. I understand that. You can only handle a movement if you are a leader and you have the vision to see what is taking place. Before Barack Obama could become president, he had to believe he could become Matthew 1, 21. Are you with me? Of course, reads in the scripture. And she will bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. Capital J, capital E, capital S, capital U, capital S. But he will save his people from their sins. When you go down to the commentary, it says the name Jesus means Yahweh is salvation. See word wealth. At Philippians 4.23. Let me just go there real quick. See why they did that. Philippians 4.23. Saints, I love the Bible. But, um, Saints, you, you've got to step it up because you're going to be in demand. But what we're seeing, four, you said 4.3? 4.23? Oh, look at this. Wow, this is really good. Wow, this, this is better. All right, so when you go to the word wealth in Philippians 4, 23, it has the name Jesus. But they spell it and transliterate it in the Greek. What's so significant, though they did not get it all correctly, they took the iota, and when they transliterate it into the English, they put the capital letter Y. Amen? It goes and says, the Strong's number 2424, the Greek, listen, Hello? I know you want to go home and leave, but you know, this is a teaching ministry. And what blessed me yesterday was that you got to see, you were able to see other pastors move under another anointing. But what stood out to me being a pastor was that he was forced to teach because of you. And uh, you might not remember some of the things he said. He said last night, I'm not gonna what, I, what happened last night is gonna happen, not gonna happen this time. Yes. Yes. And while we were at dinner, uh, Pastor Powell, he, he said we had a powerful service, and he said I'm I'm almost led to say it's because of your congregation. Amen. <laughs> because we, we weren't resisting, we were receiving. Amen. But when you compare the congregations, you are very taught. Hallelujah. Understand a lot of churches are into the hoop and the holler and go home and nothing changes. Yes. But you are very taught. Amen. But listen to what it says here. Jesus. Hallelujah. They say the pronunciation is Jesus. I totally disagree with that, but that's another time. But the good thing is that they have the Yah. You see how they have the Y-A? Come on, saints. I want to say it again. Come on. Some of you fall asleep. That's just terrible. Hallelujah. And when I mean fall asleep, I'm talking about... Physically, I'm talking about mentally. First of all, for those of you who want to study, they told us to turn to the word wealth. 423, it's about the name Jesus. Transliterated, transliterated into the English as I, this is what they put, E, S, O, U, S. But this is the Greek. What you'll know for those of you who like to study, there are too many letters here for the name Jesus. 
And each one of these letters have a pronunciation. I want to say that again. Hallelujah. When you translate the name Yahshua, the Greek, I-E-S-O-U-S. -S. When they give the pronunciation of the name, they have capital Y, A, small y, dash, S-O-O-S. -O -O -S. I disagree with the, the, the S-O-O-S -O -O -S and uh, when you see the small y, the majority of theologians will say that's a yah. But already you have two letters, capital Y and A. With these two letters, there's no way you can get the j sound. The j sound does not make the yah sound. Once again, I already read you all these pastors. Goes on to say, Strong's number 2424, the Greek transliteration. Everyone listen to me? Transliteration of the Hebrew yeshua. Now, Everyone who likes to study, you would ask yourself the question, well, if this is the transliteration of Yeshua, then I should hear Yeshua in Greek and Hebrew because you just translate, transliterated into the English. Hallelujah. Meaning he shall say. That is what Yeshua means. But Yahshua means Yahweh salvation, which is contradicts what they wrote in Matthew 121. Because in Matthew 121, they wrote, the name Jesus means Yahweh's salvation. Amen? Is everyone with me? Amen. Say you're with me. Amen. He shall say, which is a shorter form of the Yahushua, Joshua, Yahweh is salvation. It was a common male Jewish name. Ten men in the Old Testament were named Yeshua, and three men in the New Testament. Now, if no one ever tells you that. But I mean, let's tell you that Jesus is a unique name that stands out. In addition to, oh, so actually it's four when you include uh, Yahshua, according to what this says. Amen? Amen. Once again, there's a spirit filled Bible. What I want to show you is that you can teach the name to any idiot. I want to say it again. You can teach the name to any, any idiot who has a study Bible. Amen? At this time, I'm going to pray over the time and offering. You're worthy to be praised for God. Yeah. You ready to be blessed? Yeah. So once again, saints, we're going to Pastor Hudson's church on the 17th. Amen. Praise and worship team, I need you to minister. Amen. Because a great and mighty door is going to be opened in the name of Yahshua. And now is the time to be mighty. Now is the time to be strong. Hallelujah. And Pastor Powell were so blessed that they invited me and my wife to a retreat, Hallelujah, which uh, we're not going to.